hi everyone uh, welcome to my uh, youtube channel and today we are video we are going to discuss about how to do a packet capture and analyze the packet with tcp dump command on docker containers as you already know that docker containers are running on top of the linux and it's really easy to capture the uh, packets which are transferring between the docker containers so let's quickly start how do we do it and in uh, in case like you guys want to know how to use the docker uh, container lab for different uh, vendors you can refer my previous videos so uh, um, uh, so that you will have some good understanding how to do a container lab topologies and how to do a packet capture in the session so currently i have a docker container already spin i have two uh, slnx already running in my lab so let me quickly display it to you so i have already have the uh, docker containers both are running and they both are connected with ethernet 1 slash 1 knife 1 1 and as you can see in any uh, once we have the container lab spin so it will give you the uh, namespace so this are the uh, let me quickly show you what is the namespace here Okay, so this namespace you can retrieve at any time. So this is the output. Once you have spin the topology, you will have this output. And there is an another way uh, to check this using a CLI command. Instead of going into the, you know, the YAML file each and every time, you can execute this command. So here you can see, you, you can say the ID zero and ID one, it's the same thing. The name is much. So this is the namespace. So after finding the namespace, so you can see my slide. So once we have the namespace identified, then we can uh, use the TCP dump or the washer. In this session, I'm going to discuss about the TCP dump. In latest, uh, you know, session on this, uh, we can discuss about the washer in the next upcoming videos. Uh, in container lab, you can capture any interface inside uh, the containers. Uh, as I mentioned that it's on top of the Linux, so it's easy. And there are two types of capture that we can do. Is one is the local capture. So locally you can do a capture and there is a uh, remote capture where you have to uh, SSH from one container lab bus to another container lab bus and then you can do the monitor. Okay. So currently uh, I have only the local capture I'm going to uh, do it because the remote cap capture is same as the local capture. The only the exception is you have to do SSH from the uh, container lab host one to host two. Then you execute the same command to do the uh, TCP dump. So currently I have the uh, namespace. Now I need to find what are the interfaces uh, assigned to this uh, namespace. So there is a command, the, let me do this. So now we have that command. Now use this command and you can use any of this namespace and you IP link. So after executing this command, so it will display all the interface associated with this docker container namespace so the second one also we can check quickly yes you can see so the, the interface between these two routers are connected via ethernet uh, one knife and one i have only one interface this two interface so we are going to monitor uh, ethernet one knife and one in either of the container namespace so let's i have the namespace though so i will take the first router namespace to capture the packet so before that, I have another session to initiate the traffic. Now I know what is the IP address. So let me quickly log in to either one. As you all know that that SR next, the username is admin and password is Nokia SR L1. Astrid. So you can use this or you can reset your password once you have the access. Yes, I logged in. Show interface. In case if you guys are watching my video the first time, then you can watch my previous videos so that you'll be able to understand how to uh, spin the uh, container lab 
uh, in your laptop and how to bring up the topology successful you can refer my previous videos and slnx is a free image to everyone so you can download the uh, slnx from the github directly and do the practice as you can see the ethernet is one is one slash one is up and this is the uh, ipv6 and ip4 address is assigned so let me quickly it's a slash 31 so the ip start with start zero and dot one so let me quick so ping network instance so always so you can see the network instance is the default then let me give the ip so this is the local ip and this is the remote ip before the uh, before i initiate the ping let me quickly do the tcp dump command to capture the packet the same command ip net space net ns and execute so now we need to check one of this namespace then after that tcp dump because we are going to dump the packet using the tcp tcp dump command f1 and then interface and the interface it is connected here it's a ethernet one f1 one yes it's okay now currently it started monitoring as you can see so i'm going to initiate the packet sorry it is not zero to it is zero slash zero zero dot zero because a slash 31 so this interface ip is that one so the remote end it should be dot zero so as the ping is working now my tcp dump command started capturing the packet let me stop the ping and let me start okay here you can see i'll be able to inspect the packets using the tcp dump command so this is how you need to uh, inspect the uh, you know pack capture the packet and inspect it and this mainly useful when you want to practice some you know lab or even the real time you want to understand like what is the message type flowing between the uh, two different routers for different protocols uh, between the network elements so you can use this uh, tcp dump command uh, utilize it and you can you know well wise your you know the expertise in the uh, any protocol or any technologies thank you very much for watching this video please uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you everyone